welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I. But on this day in Tudor history, the 18th of September, 1556, Edward Courtney, 1st Earl of Devon, died from a fever at Padua in Italy. Courtney had been sent overseas after he was implicated in Wyatt's rebellion as a future husband and consort of Queen Mary I's half-sister Elizabeth, the future Queen Elizabeth I. But let me tell you a bit more about this Earl of Devon and how he came to be a prospective bridegroom for Elizabeth. Edward Courtney was born in 1526 and he was the only surviving son of Henry Courtney, Marquess of Exeter, and his second wife, Gertrude Blunt, daughter of William Blunt, 4th Baron Mountjoy. Edward was also the great-grandson of King Edward IV, descending from Catherine of York and William Courtney, Earl of Devon. As a young boy, Edward spent time in the household of Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk and Mary Tudor, Dowager Queen of France, but returned to his parents' household in 1533 following Mary's death. In the 1530s, Edward's parents supported Catherine of Aragon and were eventually implicated in the Exeter Conspiracy of 1538, accused of treasonous correspondence with Cardinal Reginald Pole. Edward and his parents were imprisoned in the Tower of London and the Marquis was executed in December 1538. Edward's mother was released in 1540, but Edward remained in the Tower. In 1547, King Henry VIII died and Edward VI became king, but the general pardon given at the start of his reign did not include Edward Courtney and he wasn't released until August 1553, following Queen Mary I's succession. He was created Earl of Devon and made a Knight of the Bath in September 1553 and granted a number of lands. He carried the sword of state at Mary's coronation in October 1553. His favour with the new Queen led to him being viewed as a potential consort for Mary by those arguing against a foreign match. Those who supported him included Sir Francis Englefield, Sir Robert Rochester and Sir Edward Waldegrave and also Bishop Stephen Gardner. However, Mary was keen on Philip of Spain and was also concerned about Edward's morals with rumours that he consorted with loose women and she was also concerned about his arrogance. Mary's determination to marry Philip of Spain, the son of Emperor Charles V, led to Wyatt's rebellion, which sought to depose Mary and to replace her with her Protestant half-sister Elizabeth. Edward was implicated in the rebellion, as it was rumoured that Elizabeth would then marry him. Both Elizabeth and Edward Courtney were arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London following the failed rebellion. Wyatt went to his death on the scaffold in April 1554, claiming that Elizabeth and Edward were both innocent. Elizabeth was released into house arrest on the 19th of May 1554 and on the 25th of May, Edward was moved from the tower to Fotheringay Castle. He remained there until April 1555 when he was allowed to go into exile abroad. While in exile in the Republic of Venice, he was implicated in the Dudley Plot or Dudley Conspiracy, a plot led by Sir Henry Dudley to depose Mary and to replace her with Elizabeth. However, in late August 1556, Edward came down with a fever after hawking in a storm in Padua. He died on this day in history, the 18th of September 1556, and was buried at the Church of San Antonio in Padua. It was rumoured that he'd been poisoned or that he died from syphilis, but there's no evidence to support those rumours. Edward never married and he was childless at his death. Also on this day in history, the 18th of September, 1544, King Henry VIII rode triumphantly through the streets of Boulogne. The French had surrendered Boulogne on the 13th of September 1544 following a siege and King Henry VIII entered it and was given its keys by his good friend Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, on the 18th of September. England was victorious, but his ally, the Holy Roman Emperor, wasn't behaving himself. 
You can find out more about that in last year's video. You'll find a link to that in the description. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button right there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.